Hello, and this is the Crypto Day Morning for the 10th day of September 2018. Starting a new week, my name is Derek, all trades, bets, and of the like, always within one's own risk reward. And let's take a look at a bunch of different things really quickly. No need to go over the daily term time frame. It's a three hour time frame I want to talk about. As the green candle up or the completion of the inverted Bart Simpson head formation, as I like to call it, completed. But it never did even come close to getting above the established resistance level at about 64.50. Rather, it spent about three periods thereafter just hanging in above the 18 of closes. And then a big red candle down basically to the 18 of lows. And then reverting to the 18 average of highs the very next period after. So major volatility in comparison from before, high within it. And then it settles down after the 20 hour time spent snap. And this is period number four, with two hours left to play in this period, amongst just staying in within the band. So obviously less strength when you're uh, transitioning or settling in amongst the correctionary phase. Of course, uh, doing such above the 18 highs is bullish and below the 18 lows is that of bearish. Another way of looking at Bitcoin in reverse is the code uh, crossing of TUSD to that of BTC, which is a true US dollar. Thus the inverse fund or uh, its price is uh, 15,840 Satoshi. But you can see how it went above the uh, 18 uh, highs, the same thing now settling in. It's been doing a good job for the most part. And uh, this is uh, how it's forming itself through a bullish run, which is of course bearish in Bitcoin. The higher low well there's been a lot of lower highs in bitcoin and now of course settling with its gain on the loss of course within the 18. a lot of coins of course have been losing not only recently but for the last for the entire year in case it's ethereum down to 195 and continuously moving down since it had its big loss on the uh, fourth day or six days ago and of course continuing its downturn and this downturn has been going on ever since its april fools rally finished around may the 5th or 6th the uptrend of course stopped it has only spent limited time if even counting that above the 18 of highs it has been of course majorly in a downtrend we, we can see the price was 800 but it was even higher than that for the weekly, it's, uh, well, here's a bottom, here's a top, here's a pattern. Got the lower high, got the break of support. So it's in process of making that leg lower. Is it done yet? Maybe. It might have a bit more to go, but you now at the situation where, okay, this level has been taken out, it's making a leg lower. When is it going to bottom question mark because it's at a situation where it's starting to get oversold and you are at least expecting a bounce such a take it to the declining 18. And that's on a bullish, bullish level when I talk about something. But it's going down, it can continuously go down to 70 or whatever on technical analysis. And it's creating what the first higher low, let's ignore that, which is why I'm starting it from this point. But this is going from $5 up to 1200 now down to, of course, under 200 big time volatility with these uh, markets. Litecoin with the exact same thing on the break of its support level. So it's had already a decent leg lower. It's at this key level, but it's been there for now several weeks. Is there still going to be action towards maybe the 30, whichever level? And if Bitcoin does make a surge down to 3000, we could even be talking about possibly down here for 56 to 20 would be a loss of not quite three X, but more so than two. And Bitcoin's got to do a little more than two just to get down to 3000. That's of course, if that situation happens, but let's talk finally with dash because a similar pattern as in here's uh, this level of support in here it falls through you could even make a case either way it's been in a downtrend since january but it's in a correctionary phase regardless this is a decent size leg lower from this low so it's 
it, you, you have you have it doing what you expect it to do when you break a key level it goes down not too little not too much but something just right which would probably be the example here and again it's now just hanging in within the 18 lows after a green candle up that that doesn't mean it's going to revert or change the trend that i've seen a lot of situations like that in the bear market but i've also seen a lot of situations where it keeps upgrading itself next to the 18 highs, then to a nice break above and so on and so forth. And within this one on the daily, it's uh, got an interesting pattern to say the least. It's above 200 where Ethereum is barely below 200. So interesting, it's cross of that has crossed over or under one, depending on which one you are trading as a base currency. Regardless of the fact within this, it had this little double uh, run higher or two levels of resistance established. Big red move down that takes it down to this low. And one, two, three periods just hanging in within the 18. Now this is number four, but it's at the highs now. When you look at it even more short term, and we do so within the three hour. This level of resistance didn't really spend much time then. The big level of resistance was around this range in here. So therefore, I really need to see it hold this little area. If there's going to be a price correction from this little rally here, it's already established this resistance at around uh, 206, that getting it above, above that. Don't be surprised for a fast play up to 219. Have a good day. Bye-bye.